Allegations are surfacing tonight over election code violations, some allegedly here in Palm Beach County. It is a story we were first to report. The issue is over how signatures are collected for ballot questions and a new law in Florida, how that all ties in. News Channel 5's Matt Sesney here with the latest. Matt. Michael, we found out about this a few hours ago today, and tonight a Florida state representative is reacting to it. James Grant from the Tampa area fired off this letter to the Secretary of State calling on all supervisors of elections and sheriffs to investigate what he calls illegal petition practices. Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody's office confirms the complaint detailing the allegations has been sent to Florida Department of Law Enforcement. It all centers around a new law signed by Governor DeSantis earlier this year, tightening restrictions on those who gather signatures to put petitions on the ballot, including no longer allowing collectors to be paid for each signature. The complaint comes from a group called Keep Our Constitution Clean, which detailed instances from Gainesville to Tampa to South Florida, including an alleged admission in West Palm Beach, where petition gatherers say they were paid 3 to $4 per signature. WPTV tracked down one person mentioned in the complaint who says established collectors were grandfathered in, despite the new law prohibiting paying for signatures, and called the allegations ridiculous. Petition signatures are vital to having voters decide new laws such as medical marijuana. And paying people to collect signatures has long been a practice, where ballot efforts are now underway to raise minimum wage and legalize recreational marijuana. And the group that filed that complaint is also involved in making amendment questions tougher to approve. Keep Our Constitution Clean is gathering signatures that would require any future amendment questions to be voted on twice. Michael. Matt, thank you.